Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Ones Upon a Game, and today I'm going to take a look inside the box of Day of Heroes, part of the Lock and Load Tactical System. This is one of their modern era games uh, set in uh, Mogadishu. You may have seen the movie Black Hawk Down. This uh, uh, kind of recreates the uh, the scenario there, the situation there. Uh, so we're going to open it up and take a look. I've not played any of their uh, Lock and Load uh, modern system games yet. Uh, and this, is, this looks like a good one, a little targeted one. Uh, it's definitely very... Very modern, so uh, let's take a, take a quick look inside, see what you get. First of all, you're going to get the nice new big box that they provide. These are about the size of a coin box. If you have those on your shelf, you'll be easily fit these on your shelf, but the good thing is you'll be able to fit uh, counter trays uh, and other paraphernalia back in the box. It is roughly three inches in size, right? A little bit over, maybe three and a quarter. Uh, much nicer than the previous boxes that were far too small to hold all the counters. Since each game comes with its own counters, it's a complete game. Um, you obviously want to keep them all together and keep them all organized instead of it being a, uh, a big system like um, uh, Combat Commander or uh, uh, ASL, where you basically building up your squads and then you know applying them to different, to different titles. So anyway, uh, let's open the box and shoot inside. Interested to see how many, since this needs to be more of a targeted uh, um, uh, event in history. I wonder how many counters you get, etc., etc. So, take a look. First of all, as always, they give you dice, which is great. You can keep them in the game as well. So, it looks like there's two counter sheets. So, it's definitely a focused, low, cap, low counter density game. Um, looks like a lot less. Uh, uh, armor, a lot more uh, ground ground forces, as as you would expect. Um, so the first one here. So you got your soldiers, uh, weapons. Um, as always, uh, you get a few uh, vehicles here, some helicopters. As always, they punch out very easy. Nice thick counters. Uh, good, good feel to them. For the most part, very smooth on the sides because you don't have the corner nibs so you don't have to round them. Uh, this one has a little like visually noticeable but you don't really feel it. Little nib there on this on the uh, on one of the sides. Looks like they're uh, cleanly cut right and left and they're held slightly top and bottom so that's where you're gonna get any potential potential issues. And then you got this sheet which has no none of the large counters. Uh, has uh, turn markers, uh, your status markers, things like that along with your opposing forces. Right. Excellent. So you get two sheets of counters, easy punch. Then you get the lock and load uh, tactical system, modern rules and scenarios. And it's actually a little thicker than I would have expected. So it must have several scenarios here. Uh, 40 pages or so, full color. And, um, Let's see, you got about 12 pages of uh, module rules, and those are the rules that are going to vary from the core game, which in this case, and that rule book's in here, is the modern era rules, which will be different from the World War II era rules. Uh, so you'd have that book. Um, uh, oh, no, this is interesting. I haven't even pulled out the map yet, but it says, unlike other lock and load tactical modules, Day of Heroes uses squares instead of hexes. So that'll be interesting. When computing distance for attacks, each square is the same as one hex, whether counted diagonally or laterally. Interesting decision. Now, I never played a previous version of this. I guess it shows you right there. I just thought that was a map, but it looks like uh, it may actually be the... The map. I thought it was a, uh, a geopolitical map, not a uh, map map, a game map. Uh, let's take a look here. Go through the module rules, special conditions, uh, road squares, cost all vehicles, two movement points. So, yes, definitely a lot of uh, exceptions here, I guess. You have Blackhawks, you have H6 Little Birds, uh, you can have helicopter crashes. Ooh. Uh, you can buy the solo game, which is should work with this. It's supposed to work with anywhere, or anytime, anywhere, any game. Lock and low tactical. All right, scenario information. Nice new feature they've been adding. If you're new, a good starter scenario is Chalk 2's Run. It only has uh, multi-man counters, single-man counters, not too many units. So that's a good idea to always use that. 
and playing the game. All right, sounds good. Um, so you get your scenarios, special scenario rules. Does not look like. Does not look like this one has events. Maybe I'm missing the event markers that they normally like to have in lock and load games, but maybe I just missed them. No, usually I have the events that happen if you take the if you move into a hex and or a, a, in this case a square or events that happen if you, um, you know, have that have that in line of sight. So this doesn't appear to have any random events that I can tell. The modern rule book this covers everything from sixty to the present. So this would be your Vietnam uh, and forward post Korea, and it like the other was about. 70 pages or so, including a rule summary. And I have not played any of the modern yet, so I don't know the differences between the two. Obviously, weapons are going to shoot farther um, uh, and be more powerful, I would assume. But just like the World War II book, very well laid out, I assume it's just as easy to, to follow along. All right, we have, in this case, we have a, a map. Whereas the other games tend to have geomorphic maps, this includes a single map of the region, and it looks to be it's single-sided, and it is densely, densely urban. I'm not going to zoom out. I'm just going to kind of move it so you can see. Very, very urban map. Laid out in blocks, laid out in the grid fashion. So there you go. Good artwork, as always, with these. And you got buildings that are uh, two-story. They got the red, not uh, single-story, so it's going to affect your line of sight. Very cool. Nice square map, too. So it's just it lays pretty flat. Good card stock. Nice and thick. All right. And then we're going to get, as with most of the games in the series, get a turn track. Vehicle notes, casualties, the Somalis, you get an ordnance chart, sequence of play reference, you're going to get a rules reference card, quick look up for different things, off-board artillery, it's a nice note, there's no off-board artillery, so at least it tells you that, hey, you know, if you're looking for it, it's not there. There you go, Somali roadblocks, American forces, helicopters, Those reference. Got a player aid card. Doesn't look like I see hero markers for being called Day of Heroes. I guess because they're all heroes in this. Um, but maybe I, again, I just missed them. I'll look when we go back to the recap. So this is your uh, terrain effects chart for the different building types, and for the uh, terrain modifiers like wreckages and blocks and smoke. <laughs> And then you got your direct fire and ordinance fire table charts. And then you got the big box. So you got your reference card, you got your rules reference, sequence of play slash ordinance chart, turn tracker. Nice, nice square map. Take the quick, quick measure here. It's nine, so it's 18 by 18. Yep, nine by nine. A one inch one inch squares it would appear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight and a half. This is an eight and a half by nine, maybe. And then you get your uh, modern era rule book, your rules and scenarios for the module. And then you get your two sheets of counters. And it does actually look like we do have some heroes possibly for the Somalis. Uh, yeah, as well as uh, commanders here for the uh, for the American forces. So add to that two dice, and that is everything you're going to get in Day of Heroes Lock and Load Tactical System Modern Era Game Lock and Load Publishing. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye bye. Oh.